In the inimitable words of that education scholar Barbie, math is hard. But if you're lucky enough to get a math teacher like Anthony Myers, the math may still be hard, but it's also fun. Keenan student Danielle Hall says Myers is certainly different than any other math teacher she's ever had. He helps we'll us a lot. Exactly. And he like, he takes his time to explain yeah, his, to us right. so that's what's going on. And like, he, don't move, he don't move too fast. Oh. That's a constant refrain in Myers' classes. He takes time with his students. I've been blessed with patience, which helps with classroom management, but also with kids who just don't get it. Myers has we patience and he also okay, has so something else on his side, youth. At 22, he's closer yes. in age Which to his students than his teaching peers. He says both attributes have helped him build rewarding relationships with his students. What I try to do as often as I can is come in here, you know, I know no one really cares about math, but let's just try to learn, you know, and, and experience some stuff. Um, and honestly, you know, it gets them caring a little bit more the more we do that. And Myers teaches all the hard stuff. Algebra 2, Algebra 3, Principles of Engineering, Pre-Calculus. He was homeschooled and says he's wanted to be a math teacher since age 7? I was type A brain, latched onto the math material. You know, a lot of kids, a lot of kids like math to start mm -hmm. numbers, stuff like that. Um, the teaching, I guess, came from my mom had an in-home daycare center. Mm -hmm. She would babysit kids, um, and she would also kind of teach them while they were there, and I would help. Um, and it just stuck with me. It, that never changed. Myers earned his teaching credentials from the University of South Carolina's College of Education, where he says he's learned how to teach creatively. In addition to scribbling numbers across a blackboard or punching a calculator, he's teaching his students to be problem solvers through math. I told all my students the first day that I don't want to create math masters mm -hmm. because A, you'll probably forget it when you graduate, right. and B, we don't all need to be math masters. We need to be problem solvers so that when they go into whatever field they go into or whatever part-time job they pick up, they can figure out how to solve problems in a situation. If Myers could be cloned, he would be the prototype the university is trying to create. Myers College professor Ed Dickey is leading a campaign to attract more students like Myers to teaching careers in math and science. We feel an obligation to our state and we, we think there's a need to support people with high quality technical math and science skills in the K-12 sector in schools to prepare them for what we think are the careers for the next 20 to 30 years. And we, we think that um, having citizens coming out of our public schools who understand math and science, who love math and science, is just generally good for the educational mission of our state. Dickey adds, USC has smart students who would make great teachers, but they just haven't made the connection. That's what they need to do is bring some of those possible candidates to Myers' classroom. But then also rewarding is to see the learning happening. Man, to see those four girls over there working together while I'm on this side of the classroom and hear, you know, multitask, hear what they're talking about and how they're strategizing through different things for math, which most students just couldn't care less about, that's so rewarding.